Hello, I'm Michael Ellis and welcome to our second DVD on the use of the electronic collar. Uh, this DVD we call Common Applications of the Electronic Collar. Um, before we enter this DVD, uh, we assume that you've watched our first DVD. The first DVD is how we condition the dog to the electronic collar. So there's a process for introducing the dog to the collar and it's very important that you be very familiar with that process before you start using the collar to address behavior problems as you go forward. So we assume a, a pretty thorough knowledge of the terminology and process for introducing the collar covered in our first DVD. The other thing that's important is that you have a general understanding of how we approach training, meaning we teach in a reward-based system. There are trainers out there who use the electronic collar on what we call naive dogs that have very little training. Uh, we don't do this. Our dogs are trained uh, to pay attention to us through the use of rewards. They are trained to do the behaviors that we are going to use the collar on eventually. And our dogs have an understanding of what we're asking them before we would add aversives to our training. And the electric collar is just another form of aversive. In this DVD, we're going to cover three common areas where we might use the electronic collar, or three categories. The first being obedience type behaviors, how we might apply the collar to obedience behaviors. The second is protection work or other high arousal activities, activities where the dog's extremely stimulated. And the final one is in management areas or household manners, things around the house or managing a dog that aren't specific to training behaviors that we might have taught or specific to obedience behaviors. Each of these sections will discuss in some detail the specific behaviors we might use the collar on and how we might apply them. Finally, uh, there's a menu option in this DVD uh, to review the terminology section from our first DVD. So before you start to watch this DVD, if you're at all unclear about the terminology that we use during training, especially around the electronic collar, then please take a moment to quickly review the terminology section from our first DVD.